Hi, I'm Rudy Rucker. I'm promoting my new novel, Million Mile Road Trip, from Nightshade Books. A beautiful cover with art by Bill Carman. I do a lot of paintings when I'm writing my books. And I'm going to throw some of those up on the screen. And this is Groon. We all know that bagpipes are creatures of Satan. You just listen to their sound. These UFOs, I've always thought it would be more interesting for UFOs to be made of meat and to be alive than having them just be boring machines. The UFOs want to invade Earth and eat our consciousness. These two characters from a parallel world show up. There's the parallel world where Groon lives and the UFOs, and these two names are Pinchley and Yampa. Pinchley, in a way, my model for him is Neil Cassidy in On the Road. The two human characters, high school seniors in Los Gatos, California, Zoe, Zoe Snap, and Villy, Villy Antwerpen. Zoe's kind of good at school, but she doesn't like to be, and she's sort of a punk, a goth, doesn't like anything that grown-ups say. Villy is a surfer, not a good student at all, but he's smart. So they can't face going to college or, or trying to get a job or anything, so they, they long to go for a big road trip. Pinchley and Yampa show up. They really soup up Billy's car. It's a crummy old station wagon. Flip them over to uh, the parallel world, which turns out to be sort of flat. Now there's cr those creatures with them. One of them is a UFO. And that other thing, that's a shape-shifting creature called a freeth. The freeths are not, they're not especially trustworthy. And they get to the home for this aristocrat. She's turned herself into a pupa. She's like pupating. And there's this crazy alien dog that wants to attack. Along the trip, Billy and Zoe have gotten very good at playing guitar. You know, even if you soup your car up, it's kind of hard to drive a million miles in a car. When they play the guitars, it flies pretty fast. The aristocrat helps them out a little bit. They get a ride on a UFO to go back to the tunnel that goes to Earth. This UFO they ride in, it's called the flat cow. My granddaughter has a, a rug on her floor that's a, a calf skin and we always called it the flat cow. It's sort of like a change purse and Billy's inside it and Zoe's inside it and Scud's inside it. And then they come to this land. Half the people there, their parents are mixed. Turns out you can mate with flying saucers. It's it's gnarly. Children of humans and saucers have little rims around their waists and they can fly. Coming up is the cosmic beatdown, and this is the climax of the book. Zoe and Billy have to deal with the saucers and Groon trying to invade Earth. So here's a sort of impression of how the scene might have gone. Graduation day at Los Gatos High School. Things turn out very well, and there's a happy ending. So check it out. A million Mile Road Trip. It's my 23rd novel. I really think this is one of my best ones. It's got that beat rhythm to it of the endless road trip. Go for it. Million mile road trip. Thanks.